What's up, PC gamers? It's Odin coming back to you with another box office breakdown. As you can see, I'm in a very different setup. I'm currently in the great state of Tennessee doing some things for work, but hey, it's going to still be a great day. And obviously, you can tell the audio quality is going to be a little bit different because using the same webcam, having to use a different microphone. So hopefully, everything's coming through fine for you guys. I'm going to try and do everything I can in post to fix the sound to the best of my ability. But anyway, as you can see up here, really nothing too crazy happening. The Curse of La Llorona. Never heard of this film before. Warner Brothers release was number one this week, $26.5 million. Breakthrough was another film came out this week, another one of those faith-based films, made $11.1 million. You know this films always tend to come out during the Easter season, and so therefore we see it is still doing well. Penguins, a Disney nature production, made $2.3 million. And Kalank with a whopping $1.23 million. But where are some of the other films that maybe we are more interested in? Shazam, coming in at number two, which is actually pretty great, seeing that this is now its third week in release. Started one uh, it started to be the number one film, week one and two, and now is still, you know, uh, still pretty solid overall. It looks like, and so again, 29.1% 29 drop, still doing very well here in the states, not doing nearly as well in the foreign market, and I'll get into that in just a little bit. Still something to look into, nonetheless. Captain Marvel, on the other hand, actually made more this week with 9.1 million dollars, which is kind of insane when you think about it. That this film is still, for some reason, making money. And so, speaking of that film, we got here Captain Marvel again has made now 1.089 million, but as you can see, it is definitely slowed down quite a bit, especially since we have Endgame coming out just this weekend which again i'm so freaking excited for that coming up on thursday but again this is not going to make that much more money because of that reason so actually this is a lot lower than i anticipated i thought it was going to be closer to 1.3 1.5 just based off of how much the you know how much the money the movie was actually making what this actually shows us though is that this film really doesn't have that much legs it made a crap ton in the first three weeks and has not done really all that much since then the big question for me, when this film, as far as the success of the film, obviously it's made money, but the overall success of this property and the future of Captain Marvel, to me, is going to be actually more based off of how many Blu-rays does it sell, how well does it do post-video. Now, many people might try and say, oh, well, it doesn't matter because it's going to be on the Disney streaming service. That very well could be the case. However, I mean, it is going to be on the streaming service, but that could be the case that, you know, basically because of that reason, because that's only going to be $7 a month, that that is going to be the number one excuse. And that actually kind of makes a lot of sense. They've announced that this is going to be the first of the MCU films to be on the Disney streaming service. Maybe they've done that because they know this film is not going to do nearly as well on Blu-ray. And so now they're going to be able to have an excuse as to why this one does not succeed as well, be able to say, oh, well, it didn't do as well because people can see it on the Disney streaming service without having to pay anything extra for it. I'll tell you one film right now that is not doing very well, and that is Hellboy. Hellboy had a gigantic drop-off after an extremely weak opening. Still no foreign numbers available, which doesn't really bode well, because if it was making a lot of money there, we would start to hear about it. That means to me that it's so like just indistinguishable from anything else that's being made. This film is going to essentially be a bust, which is kind of sad seeing that this film only cost $50 million production-wise, $75 million total when you add in the marketing. That is abysmal. So Hellboy looks like the reboot is not going to go anywhere after this, which I think many people would say is probably a good thing. I've not seen this myself. I kind of want to just to see how much of a train wreck it actually is, but I am also kind of hesitant because of the fact that it's just gotten such bad reviews, but also no one is going to see it. And of course, Shazam, the actual Captain Marvel, is not doing as well overseas as maybe we had hoped. But still right now, it has, has $322.8 million at the worldwide box office, which means this film is definitely on pace to break even and make a small profit. Now, it's not going to make a whole lot this coming weekend. Why? Well, because Endgame is coming out. But also because, you know, DC films overall tend not to have the best legs in the world, except for like the last two this one probably will do well in certain markets for a certain period of time, but because it's not producing the foreign market and because the domestic market is about to be completely overtaken with Marvel, with Endgame, Shazam's kind of already reached the end of its life as far as being able to make a crap ton of money. So this film's probably going to end up crapping out around $350 to $400 million, which is fine. It only costs $100 million to make. 
it's going to make even. You know, it's going to make even and also make profit as well. It's really sad though because it's an actual. It's actually a really good film. In fact, I think it's the best of the DCEU thus far. Notice how I said the DCEU and not just DC films in general, because obviously that would go to the Dark Knight. But guys, what are y'all's thoughts on this? Do you think that Shazam maybe got a bad rap? Do you think it came out at the wrong time? Do you think that there's other factors that maybe led to it not doing nearly as well overseas? Also, what are y'all's thoughts on Hellboy? Have any of y'all actually seen Hellboy? Is Hellboy that good? Is it good? I mean, seriously, is it good enough to go see in theaters? Do you think the 19.6 million that's made so far is justifiable? I would love to hear thoughts on that. And also Captain Marvel, because apparently we just talk about nothing else other than Captain Marvel, even though I've talked about plenty of other films at this point. What do you think the final number is going to be? Do you think it's going to make it to that $1.1 billion, or do you think it's going to make a little bit more than that? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Guys, please, if you like this video, smash the like button, give us a subscribe. It helps us, it helps us out a lot. Again, so sorry for the change in location and the change in quality. Hopefully, things turn out okay. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and as always, God bless.